Hey everyone, Queso Man Rules here. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create some cool text with GIMP. GIMP is a free image manipulation program that you can download from GIMP.org, and I'm going to show you guys how you can create nice text with it for use on your website or anything else like that. And if you don't have it already, by the way, you can go ahead and go to GIMP.org slash downloads to download it, and it works for uh, Linux, Mac, or Windows. So uh, once you've downloaded and installed it, when you open it up, you'll get a screen like this. So what you first need to do is create a new canvas. So let's go to new. And the canvas size really doesn't matter right now. We can always crop it later. Let's just give ourselves a good size to work with. And let's first off start by just typing in whatever we want um, our tech to be. By the way, we need to go over to this uh, text tool. So let's go ahead and type something. I'm just going to do case command rules for the point. And now what we can probably need to do is increase the font size. Let's just go over here and do that, make it 50. And we can position it where we like. I'm going to move it to the center. And now uh, something that you might want to do is add a cool font. Now if you don't want to use one of the included fonts in Windows or whatever OS you're using, you can go ahead and download some fonts from dafont.com. Or, or and um, they're always adding new ones, and I'm going to use a font that I got from there. So uh, this one is called Planet E Style. As you can see right there, that's what it looks like. So now that we've done that, we have a couple of things we can do. We can um, drop a shadow, we can add gradient text, and we can do, or just add a gradient to the text, I mean, anything like that. So let's first off start by adding a gradient. So what you need to do is you need to right-click the text layer and click Text to Selection. So now the text is selected. And what we need to do is click on the gradient tool, and now we need to select some foreground and background colors. And if, by the way, you can also have several integrated um, gradients right in here that you can choose, but make sure for this it's going to be on foreground to background. So now we need to select some colors, whatever two colors you want the gradient to be. So let's just do, we'll do blue and we'll do black. This is generally a nice color mixture. So now all you got to do is just drag along the screen and it'll create a gradient. And now what you need to do is go to select and none and there you can see what it looks like. If you don't like it, you can go to edit undo select none or just control Z and change the way the gradient looks. You can mess around with that a little bit. And once you've got it the way you like it, we can go ahead up to select none again and there you go. So that's just a basic gradient. You also have, can use all these other ones if you want, but just that is pretty easy. I like to use that a lot. So now we have another, a uh, few other options that we can do. We can um, start using some of these filters. We can sharpen it or anything like that. The cool thing for this is sometimes it distorts or artistic. You can mess around with those if you like. So for this you can do, you can go down to distorts and try take something, let's do ripple. As you can see it kind of makes a wavy effect right here. Um, that might be a little bit too much so we can <laughs> we can decrease that a little bit. And now it's just a little wavy right there and as you can see it kind of brought over the cue to that side so we can go ahead and get the eraser and just erase that. Um, so that looks pretty nice right there. We can also, you know, do any other things. We can go to artistic and make it sort of cartoonish. That doesn't exactly work for text. That's more for pictures. But whatever you really want to do, just cool stuff like that. Soft glow is kind of nice. It gives it kind of like a glow, you know, of white. That looks pretty nice up there. Now we can drop a shadow if we want. We can go to light and shadow and drop shadow. And just choose black, of course. Generally, the basic settings will work pretty nice, and they'll drop a pretty nice shadow right there. And if you click the whole um, canvas size right there, you can see it without the box around it. And that's what it looks like. The ripple did cut off the cue a little bit, so that doesn't really look too great. But you know, whatever you want to do, if you can, if you don't like it, you can always undo it. So that's just a way to create some really cool text for free using GIMP. And you have a bunch of options up here in filters. You can mess around and try whatever you want. And this is what I always use to make anything nice. If you go to my website or anything like that, if there's any text on there, it, I probably made it in GIMP. So thank you for watching this video tutorial on how to create cool text using the free program GIMP, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.